Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be bringing back an old series that was fixing fan builds and we're bringing back the series starting with this guy right here. Now, uh, I got to get into this real quick before we start because uh, when I used to do these, a ton and a ton of people would send me their builds for me to fix and uh, let's just say they were less than amusing, okay? Like it got to the point where people would send me base plates with free model trees and then want me to build a whole map. Um, no, <laughs> this, this series is not to get a free map from me or anything like that. I'm here to help and, uh, basically change up your map. So hopefully there's enough assets to work with. This one is, uh, the most promising one I've gotten for quite a while. Now, real quick, if we're going to dive into some problems, uh, well, I can't call them problems, but just some stuff that I'm not really a fan of. We have these, like, these, like, circles. They're, like, not centered with each other. So it gets bigger on this side and smaller. Oh, my dogs. My dogs. Oh, gosh. Drop a like, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I think I think the dogs are done barking. So, uh, and then there's, like, a lot of inconsistencies in the borders. As you can see, they kind of just grabbed, like, groups of them instead of making them each individual. And that gives us some gaps like this. Um, oh, it's not really that bad, but this gap right here. And then there is a pretty bad gap um, on one of these. I was just looking through the map like, hey, what all, what all can I do to this? Um, oh, maybe it's not. He did send me a new file, so maybe we're all cooling. And the other thing is, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is supposed to be. So this may just be like the spawn. You know how some games have a statue? That might be what this guy is, all right? And that's what I'm going to treat it as for now. But this over here, I mean, I have no clue what it's supposed to be or what it's for or what it's leading to. And these guys, like, it looks like they're just on a pathway to uh, the number one player for the leaderboards. But, like, what are these? Like, this little, um, little transition things i don't know so i mean hey we're gonna keep as much as we can but we're also gonna change as much as we can <laughs> so let's get into it let's check out the size of this map as well let me shrink this down so it matches the sides so we can make sure to have uh at least around the same size we have 386 by 340 so i think 350 by 350 would be great 350 comma 5 comma 350 there we go and then just centering this guy of course you're gonna lose a little bit on the ends but uh not a lot okay not a lot we also need to bring this up so we can get a more accurate representation so right here you're really not losing much map at all if any actually yeah you're not losing any map you're actually gonna gain a little bit because i will be squaring it out more and uh it's time guys i'm just gonna control d this will be the ground and i think we'll start with the borders i don't overly know why they're like um white over here red over here um yellow and blue and the people that i'm I'm fixing the map for are not responding to me so i'm probably going to just be changing those colors i think okay i'm not exactly sure let me go ahead and get one of these guys oh snap how many pieces is one all right so let me just uh cv all right we'll get this guy and we'll group him together and now we have one of the border pieces to start with and we're gonna need this guy as well cv copy and paste it over to here and uh what do we got we got these guys is this a different mesh nah it's all one mesh sadly and then we have these are the lights they're neon well i don't know why they don't look neon <laughs> like ugh. but all right i'm gonna go ahead and get a border knocked out and then i'll check in with you guys all right guys first things first here is the progress okay very very simple i kept everything blue and to break this up i will be adding smaller ones of these of the other colors around i think that'd be the best way to do it and so it doesn't get too too repetitive now these the lights here so first okay what is this guy why is okay so here's one two three okay and then probably each of these sides are one let me see yeah each of the sides is a light which we could take that down if we wanted to and stretch this across the top and then it would only be two pieces on each top instead of four but i don't think that's quite necessary because this game's already gonna have a very low poly count so i'm gonna go ahead add to this get some color variation going and uh we'll check in when we're 100 done with the border all right guys the border is done check it out guys uh i know it's very symmetrical but i think that's the best i could do with the assets given once again this series is not for me to make a bunch of new assets for a game i try to take what's already there and make the best map i can out of it of course sometimes i do have to make a couple assets but for this border i did not and i think it looks pretty cool like we have this okay versus this um yeah i mean in in at least my personal preference i do think mine's a little uh a little cooler so uh but hey that's my job right to to always make sure i think mine's cooler now we have this leaderboard thing oh why is this not grouped oh yikes all right anyways now i'm gonna start taking stuff over 
whatever. This spawn, this guy. Okay, okay. What what do we got going on here? This this should all be grouped. Firstly, okay. If it this he said this is a statue for the spawn. Okay, so that could be grouped. And we'll grab one of these circles. So CV. Let's copy and paste for the people who don't know. And we're gonna go very centralized on this one. Uh, of course, this is not at all in the center. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back, and uh, I don't know how, but I deleted, like, a lot of this map. Like, I've been copy and pasting everything, but, yeah, I, I deleted a lot somehow, so that's kind of tough. Also, I noticed everything is doubled. I don't know if I did that or if they had it like that in their game, but literally everything is just, or not everything even, just, like, like most of the stuff is doubled. All the shops were doubled. I didn't have to duplicate them over, so uh, I'm, I'm definitely heavily optimizing your guys' game, all right? Also, I noticed there's a lot of stuff, like, outside the map like what is this stuff over here we have some random um dotted egg okay this stuff could actually help i'm gonna take these rocks and these the, the bro hold on like like there's some stuff over here that i could probably use um all right just just eh. okay i'm going i'm going <laughs> why would it go over there all right i gonna just throw it over here oh my dogs it's always when i start recording all right what else we got over here we got some uh um <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, no, dude. I'm going away. That's scary. And then uh, some planets. Okay, so we could probably have these kind of hovering around the map as well. Um, So I am going to do that. Let me take those and put those way over there as well. Just because, bro, we got more assets we can use. Oh, oh, snap. My map's over there. What did I do? Oh, no. Okay, I'm going just, to just go like this. Like this. Okay. All right, there we go. Wow, these are massive. <laughs> One of these planets is like my whole map, but it's all good. So now that we have this stuff, we're all good. And then we have some portals here, it looks like, which uh, I don't, we should probably try to put those in the map somewhere too, because they're going to need portals from their spawn. Uh, I will be redoing a bit of this because it just it doesn't match the game at all. So let's see, let's go ahead, lay some stuff out. So we have our eggs over here. Let's put our leaderboards over here. Our portals can go along this wall. So I'm literally just going to duplicate these. I should probably wait, but I'm going to just duplicate them for now. So you guys can see like where they're going to be. We'll do this many. That looks fine for me. And I will evenly space them, uh, of course, after I make the final portals. Let's go ahead, move them back. There we go. And then our shops. This is a Robux shop. And this is something else. Let me see. Probably the normal shop. Also, bro, I got to just get rid of these circles on the bottom because I can, like, bro, it just looks bad. Like, I'm going to just, okay, okay. Let's see. What's next? Uh, the shops themselves. I don't like when people do this. <laughs> They're really dark blocks. Uh, and these, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what's going on here. Are these connected? They're not. So I should probably grab all this stuff and put it back on the building, actually. They're sticking out way too far. Let me make sure I have everything. Wow, 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 wow. These are a lot of parts. Okay, so I have everything on this wall. Let's drag that back just a little bit. Yikes, bro. Off the movements, I guess, because they're not even. Ugh. Oh, yikes. All right. So far, so good with the shop. We've done quite a bit to it. Like, this thing was extended all the way back to come out the backside. The roof was really tall. Everything was sticking out the building. The windows, like, just a lot of stuff didn't really look right. Up next, we're changing the brick color, guys. Every time people use, like, very, very dark bricks on light buildings, it's just, it really hurts my soul a little bit. And I do want to mention, in all these videos where I fix fan builds, I don't try to come across as, like, rude to anyone's builds. Like, I'm just, like, you know, fixing them up. So, like, if, if I, like, sound rude or anything, or, like, I'm hating on somebody's build, like, please don't take it that way. I just want to make sure that we're all, uh, all clear on that. Like, I don't want to be, like, a hater, okay? I think we're just gonna go a darker blue, like, like this. So, it's not an eyesore, honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out, guys. This window up here needs to go back a little bit, and then I think the shop buildings can be considered done. I changed the blue for the front as well, just because, bro, it wasn't really, uh, fitting my fancy, to say the least. Also, since this is a simulator game, it's one of those clicking sims. I know because when I spawn in, there's a button on the thing and it says click. But uh, I just feel like the shop should be a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going to send them actually on this side and then send eggs over. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, eggs should stay where it was. And then the shop can be like on this side. And then no, because then this side's empty. All right, we're going like this, guys. The shops are going to be like this. I am. Uh, I think it'd be faster just to duplicate this shop because they're using duplicates anyway. So duplicate this guy. All right, drag him over. 
and then just change to red so we're gonna grab this guy right here um change its color perfect to this kind of red i think the really harsh red or what is it called the really red yeah i'm not a fan i don't think i will ever really use it unless i'm building like my obstacle course for example but um yeah it just doesn't fit my fancy at all uh, if they want to change that of course they can though no hard feelings you know what would be really interesting is if i were to take a build um where the color theory is just way off like the build's great but the only thing wrong with it is the color selection i wonder how much better i could make a build look just by changing the colors i think that'd be a really really fun um series or a very fun video at least let me know if you guys want to see that but all right guys here's the shops let me go ahead grab this guy get it out of here put the robux shop in and then i'll do another check-in when i have probably close to the full map done all right guys i am done with the map as you can see it looks beautiful okay the map is no i'm kidding <laughs> this is this is the map we started with guys it does look pretty sick um of course there is some stuff that i changed uh just because you know i'm not a big fan of a lot of the stuff the shop definitely definitely needed some work i just ha. Ah. I wasn't looking great. And then I'm not a fan of ever using black as the color, uh, like a path color of any sort. And I'm usually not a fan of texture on top of texture if they're the same ones. But uh, it looks better with it than without. So without further ado, I'm going to take you guys into the new map. Let's go. All right, here it is, guys. Now, uh, they don't have egg models. They said they're working on those, so I didn't put them in. But basic egg, dotted egg, secret egg. I think that, yeah, secret egg. And those will go right here. There's the egg station. Okay, we have the shop and the robot shop right here perfect right out of spawn perfect spot for him if you go over this way you have the leaderboards on both sides and then a first second and third place uh they have this text for top one but uh i added the additional second and third place just in case they want to put it up there uh i mean if they don't they can always delete them very very easily then we got the rocks thing around we have teleporters which are from this path right here uh they didn't give me a list of zone ideas so these are just placeholders to be fair but i think they look pretty sick and uh yeah that's the map guys hopefully Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you think the second one, aka this one, looks better than the first one. If you don't, well, yep, rip my building skills. <laughs> but guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.